Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me, including skin, hair, and makeup. Also, outfits. So I'm doing a complete 180. Is that the right thing? Yes, 180, like I'm literally, is it 180 or 360? I don't know. Basically, I'm about to transform from this into this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful goddess. If you're interested in finding out how I transformed from that into this, please continue watching. But before we begin, I have to remind you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my channel. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers and I'm so, so excited. I can't wait for us to reach straight house. Also, do not forget to click on the notification bell so you always get notifications of whenever I upload a new video. Without wasting any more of your time, let's get started with today's video. All right, let's get started. We're gonna get started with some skincare. I've already cleansed my skin. I used the mask. I used the U Skin Vitamin C Cleanser, and I used the Banish Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. Next, I'm going to tone, and I'm gonna be using the Pixi Glow Tonic, which contains 5% 5% glycolic acid. Just applying a little bit of it to a cotton, a piece of cotton wool. Wipe this on my face. Once the tonic has dried, I'm gonna move on to my serum, and I'm gonna be using the U Skin C Vitamin C serum this contains hyaluronic acid you'll think that hyaluronic acid is like an acid like one of those exfoliating acids but no this is actually a hydration acid it actually moisturizes and deeply hydrates your skin and i love this serum because it really just absorbs into the skin it absorbs so so well like just so quick like and i'm gonna be using my moisturizer this is the simple hydrating light moisturizer i only need like a little amount like a little dot this is how much moisturizer i actually use don't ever forget your neck your neck is very important last but not the least it's something i've never used on camera before i use this usually before i go to bed you guys can't see it but if i zoom you in closer you could i am breaking out on this side and i'm using this Oshie Dudu special acne control serum i don't like that this is called a serum because this is just a mixture of essential oils that really help with clearing out your skin so i don't agree this should be called a serum but here's the thing you don't even need a lot because again it's an oil and i'm putting on makeup so i'm just gonna put like a little bit i put the drops here and I'm taking it on my hand and I'm just patting it in that area. Never ever forget to moisturize your lips. I'm using lip balm. This is the Sheer Moisture African Water Mint and Ginger Lip Balm. Just apply it to my lips. Very right, that simple. So it's time to move into the makeup. I have my brows already done because I could not just waste you guys' time watching me do my brows to be fair. For today's eyeshadow base, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer because I forgot my regular concealer upstairs and I don't feel like going upstairs because I'm already behind and I'm already late. I'm going to be doing a very, very simple eyeshadow look. I'm going to be using the Afrique by Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette and I'm literally going to use only two shades. I'm going to be using this dark brown called Cameroon and I'm going to be using this beautiful gold called Kofi. I'm going to take my Evita Joseph Deluxe Blender Brush, dip it into the shade Cameroon and start working on that crease. So how's everybody's year going so far? I know it is just early. It's way too early to be asking, what have you guys done this year or anything? So what I wanna hear are your resolutions. What are you guys interested in achieving this year? Interested in doing this year? What are your goals this year? I don't really have any resolutions or goals, to be honest. In fact, I didn't even make a vision board this year. Last year I made a vision board. I even made a whole video about uh, making a vision board but this year I'm just like nah I'm good yes it's nice to plan out and I already plan most of the stuff I want to do like I don't have the need to plan out everything in advance like every single thing I'm gonna plan out things as they come I don't want to bog myself down in the beginning of the year like oh my god I have to do this 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 and this because in the end things change plans change I don't want to write down these goals when i end up not reaching them or I, when i end up not working on them or if plans change i don't want to look back and be annoyed with myself like oh dear let's see what you set up for yourself see what you didn't do or see what you did you know that kind of thing i know what i want to do this year i want to be awesome and kick some ass this year thing you can never really make a plan and say this is what exactly i'm going to do because in the end God has whatever he wants to do for you. So you might make out all these amazing, wonderful plans and then in the end, it's like, nope, that is not what I have in store for you. I might not be religious, but if there's anything I know is that the will of God will always work no matter what you want. No matter what you say you want to do, God has other plans for you. He's either going to help you achieve the plans that you want because that means those are the plans he wants for you or he's just going to find a way to 
rigmarole you and put you in another place because again those are not what, that's not what he had in store for you i know that just took a very very weird turn i really like this cameroon shade because it's brown but it's not dark dark brown so you can use it as a transition or you could just use it like this so i'm using it as a wash of color that's true i did not even tell you guys what i'm getting ready for i am getting ready to go on a date yes i am going on a date some people know some people don't know some people have already inferred figured it out that i am no more together with my ex um, my ex-boyfriend Tunde. It's not something I actually wanted to discuss. I actually was like trying to figure out a way I would be able to discuss it. I don't know. I was just like confused on how to talk about it. A lot of people have a lot of opinions about when people put their relationships online or don't put their relationships online. But here's the problem with me. I'm an oversharer. I share everything. I am the kind of girl that likes to share like her life on the internet and not because it's even my job but even if it wasn't my job i would still be this kind of person you know when you're in a relationship you want to share how happy this person made you you want to share your goals you want to share your life together you just that's me that's who i am i want to share i'm an again i am an over sharer when it comes to relationships or like stuff like personal stuff like this sometimes people can say oh don't overshare. oh don't talk about this or don't talk about that you know sometimes i get it i get why people wouldn't want to share their lives but i have realized i'm just a person that loves to share by the way i applied the coffee shade to my lid and i'm using the deluxe blender to sh to blend between the coffee and the brown shade when we broke up we broke up last year we broke up in october didn't really know how to talk about it because i was going through the breakup dealing with the breakup in the way that i could deal with the breakup which was i threw myself into work he was a part of my life for quite some time for almost two years and talking about how you know this person is no more part of your life especially to people on the internet that could use that information against you or just don't give a damn it's just it's hard but i do want to say that i'm happy he's happy we're friends now i sound like a damn pr press release like a damn celebrity press release god i know the subscribers i have are amazing but i'm, I'm pretty sure one person is gonna go and be that person please don't so yes i am going on a date i'm actually going on a date an ice cream date with the guy that i went swimming with in my vlog i had a vlog where i talked about i was going on a date i was going swimming with somebody that that is who I'm going on a date with. We are going to get ice cream. <laughs> yes, it's so cliche and so cute. I'm going to be using the Kudi Cosmetics um, Kajal Auto Liner. This is what it looks like. It's one of my favorite liners of all time. I am taking this bullet brush and I want to line the top of my lid but not so heavy. So I'm taking this bullet brush and I'm just taking a little bit of the Kajal Auto Liner. I'm just going to smudge this on my lash line. When you do this, it gives the illusion of fuller eyelashes. I'm going to take some mascara. This is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara Smoky Eyes. I really, really like this mascara. I'm gonna use actually two mascaras. I'm gonna use this one, and I'm going to be using the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I love these mascaras together. So I'm gonna apply the Maybelline one first, then I'm going to apply the Monsieur Big. If you have short lashes and you have hard time putting on mascara. Put on mascara by looking down. Your mirror is down here. It allows you to get really in there, really add the volume. Whew. I actually like how my eyelashes came out. I like how this eye look came out. Very simple, very straight to the point, but I like it. I really, really like it. All right, let's move on to the face. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And this is one of my, this is an all-time favorite powder. I just love using this powder. I'm powdering my face. This helps with oil control. Acts like a primer for me. For today's foundation, I'm gonna be using the Ordinary. It is, again, <laughs> almost done. But I am scraping it by. And since I'm going on a date, I might as well use it and, uh, you know, Feel fry, feel fly, look fancy. So this is the shade of 3.2N Deep Neutral. Single, dating again, which is weird because I was in a relationship for almost two years. You know, what, what people are going through right now when it comes to dating, and I sound so old, it's actually really interesting, like getting back into dating 
and seeing how trash men are like honestly and just like trying to figure out my life while you know coming out of this relationship that was a major part of my life it, it it's really eye-opening and interesting i think i'm doing well i think i'm doing better last year i was when it just happened i was okay but i was like really born up inside because i didn't i didn't want it to end but it had to end being an adult and having relationships and going through life so so unexpected just going through all of that and trying to figure out dating again like last year one of the things that i was really torn up about was the fact that i didn't know i was going to be single by 28 i honestly thought i would be in a relationship and happy i didn't know but then again this goes to what i was talking about in the beginning and about like you having a plan and god just like doing what he wants to do because again he is the one in charge and everything <sighs> i had plans last year and i had things i wanted to do last year and it didn't work out like many of the things that i put on my vision board didn't come true at one point last year i was so upset how is it that i put together this vision board that was supposed to do all these things for me and manifest all these wonderful manifestations in my life but none of them none of them came true the only thing that came through on my vision board i think was my camera and the fact that i made more videos like i i created more videos i created more content last year but apart from that none of the things i put like i wanted to model at fashion week i wanted to be in a lookbook i wanted to get engaged none of that came through and it fucked with me just sitting down and thinking about my life and thinking like you had all these grand plans, Diola. What happened? And it's not a case of I didn't work for them. I didn't like put my mind at, at achieving these goals. I did. I worked. I worked hard. But again, sometimes shit just doesn't work the way you expect it. And I have come into 2019 thinking and with the mindset of if shit doesn't work out the way you want, try again. You have next day you have tomorrow you have the next hour you have the next minute to change what it is you want that is me for 2019 like i am not putting myself to a strict set of rules or i'm not like oh you have to do this you have to do that so i'm going to live my life and take every day as it comes i have what i want to do and i'm going to work towards those things but if it doesn't work out i'm not going to beat myself up about it because that is life for you all right for concealer i'm going to be using the maybelline fit me concealer because this is a really neutral foundation i'm really gonna hope to pile on this concealer today i am actually going to cream contour i haven't cream contoured in a very long time i'm gonna be cream contouring with the black opal true color pore perfecting powder foundation it says it's a powder foundation but it's more of a cream foundation so this is what it looks like this is the darkest shade this is the shade uh ebony brown I'm gonna be taking the evita joseph face paint brush load it up on the brush and apply it to my forehead and to my cheekbones we want to contour we want to look snatched tonight take my brush and blend in this concealer into my skin and i'm gonna take this flat foundation brush and use it to blend out the other areas now the reason why i'm doing this with a different brush is because i keep forgetting to bring it downstairs when i film so most of my makeup is upstairs in my room and then i bring my makeup to my office to film videos but i forget things and sometimes i go back upstairs but today i don't feel like going back upstairs to be honest so i'm going to take this brush which i use to do my concealer under my brow so it already has concealer and i think it's doing a pretty good job this is actually an experiment because i've never done this before today's setting powder is the makeup revolution luxury powder in the shade banana and i'm going to take my brush just dip it into the powder whoop right there under the eye to set the areas that I contoured, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. contour kit in the deep version. And I'm going to take my angle double tap lesson brush, go into that dark contour shade right here and use it to set. Now it's time to highlight. This is the Younger Beauty Candid Glow in the shade Porkish. Just dot some up here. That is a lot of highlight. <laughs> you going to see me glowing. Yeah, I put too much highlighter on this side. Now I have to... Add as much highlighter here so it doesn't look weird. And then I'm gonna take this and just brush it up here up below my brows. Let's take my classic highlight brush from Evita Joseph and blend out what we have applied. Oh, look at that glow, it's so nice. It's a bit too much on this side. And what I'm gonna do to help with that is to take my powder brush and to just kind of blend it like up here. 
Then I'm gonna do something that I haven't done in a long time. I'm gonna wear blush. This is the MAC Cosmetics blush, powder blush in the shade called um, A Little Lusty. This is the shade A Little Lusty. It's a bit reddish, but it has like a really nice glow, a little simple glow. I like how it adds like a little flush of color to the cheeks, so that's what I'm gonna do. I always smile when I apply blush because it just helps. I am putting on some mascara on my bottom lashes. This is the Maybelline. I actually wanted to use the Monsieur Big, but I couldn't find it for some weird ass reason. So I'm just gonna apply this to my bottom lashes. We are almost done. We just have the lips to do. This is a brown lip liner, and I'm gonna be using this on my lips. For lipstick, I'm going to be using the YSL Rouge Pour Couture Lipstick in the shade I don't know because it has rubbed off. And I'm gonna finish this beautiful nude lip with the House of Tara High Shane Lip Stain in the shade Cleopatra. Come on, focus. There we go. Ooh. Last, but certainly not the least, setting spray. We gotta set this baby. I try not to use too much because it's almost done. And that is it for the makeup. Let's move into here quickly. Let's, let's do this quickly. I don't know if you guys saw my last video, but my hair was much bigger and fuller than this. Um, there's a thing called humidity and shrinkage that affects people with natural hair. So my hair right now is shrunk. It's a bit shrunk, but still very soft and very very like curly so I'm just gonna pull that out I'm gonna be using the Q tea tree cinnamon um, moisturizing hair cream rub it on my fingers and just spruce up the hair and then I'm gonna take a little bit of the hair affinity botanical oil nourishing botanical oil and just again add some oil to the hair that is it for makeup and hair let me put on my jewelry put on my outfit and I'll be hi guys so I am back this is the finished look Hair, makeup outfit I'm gonna be showing you guys my outfit right here I'm just wearing a pair of jeans and a bodysuit and I'm carrying my brown bag I am very basic and very very simple I'm going out for ice cream I'm not going to the opera so might as well look cute and simple at the same time thank you guys so 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 much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope I was able to be a bit more clearer on what was going on with my life and I hope you guys enjoyed that I hope you guys um enjoy this video in general thank you guys so much once again for following me and for supporting me i really really truly appreciate it please do not forget to subscribe to the omega my youtube channel click on the notification bell give this video a thumbs up because it helps my channel and do not forget to be awesome i'll see you guys in my next video bye